Hello, I'm Eric from Ion Software, and in this tutorial you're going to learn something about the text tool and the follower modifier. We basically want to set up something like this, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So let's start this over, and start by adding a text tool. Drag it in the view, set it in this case to 720p, that's fine, and I don't want to see my checkout background. So first off we need to enter some text which in this case is Fusion Rocks. Choose a font, say Verdana in this case, and bring the size up a bit. Actually your regular is fine. Let's set the time to 150 frames and this is our basic setup. Well you already can animate all the things in the text tool right in the tabs here like layout, transform, shading, etc. But I said I want to introduce the follower, which is an excellent tool for doing some motion graphic styles. So right click where it says style text and select the follower, which then shows up in the modifiers tab. Over here, let's have a look at the timing. And I want to set the timing to a delay of three frames between each character. So I only want to animate one character and all the other characters will follow with a delay of three frames. You can also set this to a delay between first and last character, which is particularly useful when you do motion graphics with you know different names and all of them should have like 50 frames in length. Set it to between first and last character, 50 frames. And no matter how long your word is or your words are, it will always be 50 frames in length until the animation finishes. We're fine with between each character in this case and let's go straight to the shading tab. In the shading tab I can now animate my transform and what you've seen in the beginning is that I want to flip my letters like 90 degrees on X and on Y when they come in. So go straight ahead angle X set it to animate set angle Y to animate start with minus 90 degrees on each and for a period of say 8 frames the letters should flip up. So by animating these two values in the follower we already created an animation like this. So now I also want my characters to actually fade in. So on the top we've got the opacity input here. Set it to animate as well and it should start with a value of 0 and then over three frames fade in to be full opaque. So three little mouse clicks and we've got this. The next thing I want to do is I want to move the entire text globally to the front of the screen. So that is in this case not done in the follower itself but back in the text tool. The follower is always for individual character animation that follows one after the other. For the global thing, go to the text tool, go to the layout tab in this case and say animate the center Z value. Right click animate and at the beginning of the animation we want this to be like 0.2. See what happens. Our letters come in, flip up and move to the front. But there's more that you can do with the text tool. So in this case, let's go to the shading tab and activate shading number two. So you've got eight different shadings in the text tool. Say this is enabled. It defaults to red outline. I don't want that. I want more like a rounded outline. So let's set it to this border outline here and uh, round it off. And I want to extend it horizontally to get that little circular shape here. Right, next thing is this shouldn't be red, it should be well, something like, you know, grayish thing, maybe like so. Right, so I created my circles now, the text is coming to the front, actually I want the circles to be in front of the letters. So this is where I go to my priority options and say priority front, like so. Back to my modifier now, back to the follower, I also go to shading tab number two and enable it. And now I want also these circles to fade in. So same trick, animate the opacity and in this case 
this should go over say 10 frames so it's a little bit slower than the original text and I also want the circles to rotate around their y axes so transform angle y animate and over the entire length over the entire 150 frames that should be something like 720 degrees so two full rotations and we've got this last thing is the letters should fade out again at the end so let's go to frame 100 again to a modifier set a key on the opacity on shading 1 and on shading 2 and say 15 frames later 115 go back to 0 like so there we go with a little motion graphic animation and you see the possibilities are definitely endless in terms of what you can do you can rotate the entire thing you can go back to your text tool go to the layout tab uh, apply rotation if you want to so this is all two and a half D and of course could also be done in fusions 3d text tool that's it see you next time bye